Guten Tag und Willkommen to a Fish on the Dry. I'm Wright Signoris. On today's episode, we fly home to New Jersey for a 10 day stay to see youngest brother JP and Kirill get married. Going back to the States means leaving from Frankfurt, and that means one thing for us priority trip to Zeitverbrot for more cinnamon rolls before we got to the airport, and they did not disappoint. Our flight was smooth and chock with good movies. My brother Earl picked us up in Philadelphia, but on the road from the airport, it felt oddly like I never left. Like the last nine months were a dream. JP's bachelor party was the same night we arrived, and in true J-Prime fashion, his bachelor party was a breakdance competition. It was amazing. A lot of people came out to toast the happy couple as well. Our main goals for the week leading to the wedding, eat all the foods, see all the peoples, them around with the fam, run all the errands, mission accomplished. The wedding was on Sunday, May 1st, also JP's birthday, so the week leading up to it was a whirlwind of planning and preparation. My do-it-all mother made dresses, including the gown, and orchestrated the cooking and decorations for the rehearsal dinner. She and my tita Thelma made the flowers and decorations for the wedding venue. Friday night was a rehearsal dinner at the church hall. I even got to jam a little bit with the live entertainment, which was fun. No guitar for nine months meant it was great to plug in, even for a couple of songs. Saturday morning before the wedding was dodgeball with the bridal party and brunch. Lots of fun. The wedding was a beautiful affair, and the reception was a blast of a party. It was such a fun time. We're all so happy for JP and Kirill. It was great to see friends and relatives I hadn't seen in years. And Alice was a beauty genius. Even this much fun can only last so long, so it's time to make the trip back to Germany. They say home was where the cat is, so I tell him it is. Peter the awesome landlord watched Tootsie for us while we were gone. Peter is the best. It was almost a completely hassle-free journey home. Our train connection to Paderborn was delayed, then cancelled, and then the next available train was delayed. But we eventually made it home to the cat. So all's well that ended well. We even made an American friend from California, also going to Paderborn, when all this train chaos was going on. So we're back. With only three months left in our stay, it feels like Thanksgiving. It's like a signal that the year is ending, and fast. You might remember in the Berlin episode that I found at the Kadeve a very special delicacy from the States a box of Cap'n Crunch cereal. And this 14 ounce box, 13 euros and 98 cents. One thing I made sure to do in New Jersey was to check on the price of Cap'n Crunch. And for the big 20 ounce box, it was 2 dollars at Wegmans. Could you imagine paying 20 bucks for a big box of Cap'n Crunch? I'm not an economist, but with this in mind, I propose a Cap'n Crunch price index. I would have to do some research on past prices to truly establish an index, but as of now, my index is at 7.5. Expressed on a euro per ounce basis, 
Cap and Crush cost seven and a half times more in Germany than in the States. On a euro per gram basis, the index is about six. I didn't buy that box of Cap and Crunch in Berlin. I'm doing just fine with Yab brand honey wheats. Price, $1.99 for a large 26 ounce box. A fish on the dry is a meteorite production and produced by me, Wright Sineros. For more information, check out the new and improved officialandthedry.com. Get some extra fun information and old episodes while you rewatch them. I tweet and Instagram at DinoWright. Send your cards and letters to officialandthedry at gmail.com if you prefer electronic mail. You can subscribe to Official from the Dry on YouTube and not miss an episode. Either way, do say hello, or hello if you're German. Thanks for watching.